this is definitely a very special place and this is a special project the special people and I'm so grateful that I'm part of it. Hi, I'm Halif and I'm Michael and this is our girl Kana. Hey! If you're new around here, we went to another van life gathering. Descend on La Sierra in Northern California with our gift friends. <laughs> yeah, Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> It was such a fun experience hanging with our van life community. Uh, the blanket covered knees. <laughs> That's our thing. And we continued on with our adventure and crossed into Nevada, where we ended up in the city of Reno in the northern part of the state. Of course, what is a visit to Reno without visiting Battleborn Batteries headquarters? Olaf and Kana are excited to visit the Battleborn Batteries headquarters. This is so cool. I get a tour in the manufacturer of the Battleborn Batteries and that there's so much stuff to see. Exciting! While most of the tours are held off camera, Olaf was shown around the manufacturing facility where they make Battleborn Batteries. It was pretty neat. That was such a cool visit to be able to see how Battleborn batteries were made. And if you've been following us for quite a while, you know that we're big fans of Battleborn batteries. So if you are looking for any batteries for your rig, definitely check out Battleborn batteries. We're gonna put the link down below. And thank you, Battleborn batteries, for having me touring your headquarters. So I'm on my way to Canada to see my parents for three weeks while Holof gallivants around the western United States and Reno has two airports so we're really hoping we're going to the right one. Have fun for the next few weeks. Alright, it's going to be worth saying goodbye to Connor because I know she, she doesn't even know. Hey buddy, gotta go. Just have fun in Canada. I will. Love you. Alright, love you too. Bye bye. Here we go folks. It's going to be a fun drive today. So the task of dropping Michael off at the Reno airport is done and from this point on it's gonna be just me and Kana. <sighs> Kana and I are in a public land but this is where you're gonna spend the night tonight. We're not really alone I guess. We have some people surrounding us including Joy. Yeah. Kana, <laughs> Kana! Kana! Stop it! That's just joy. Aww. Oh, <laughs> sweetie, sorry. I'm currently in Northern Nevada, not too far away from the Black Rock Desert. And you may heard of the name before because every year in August, about 70,000 people come together to celebrate the Burning Man event when they create a temporary city in the middle of the desert playa. I'm on my way to the Fly Ranch, which is located next to the Burning Man Playa that is also owned by the Burning Man organization. I'm gonna spend about a week at Fly Ranch helping out with an amazing project called LAGI, the Land Art Generator Initiative at the Fly Ranch that is associated with the Burning Man project. In 2020, an international design competition held for a sustainable concept development of Fly Ranch that provides energy, water, food, shelter, and regenerating capabilities for Fly Ranch, Burning Man style. Out of nearly 200 concept design proposals from all around the world, the Seed Symbiotic Co-Evolution Project was selected to be one of the top 10 designs to move on with building prototypes at the Fly Ranch. Colin, one of the core team of the Seed Project, also the founder of the KIF Vanla community that we've been part of, invited me to join in a 10-day workshop this year at Fly Ranch. The purpose of this workshop is to create a prototype of the Seed Project to showcase the design intent of the project. And of course, there's no way I'm gonna refuse this opportunity. That's why I'm here. Good morning, guys. 
completely forgot how early the sun rises this time of year. Barely six o'clock now and the sun's already so high up in the sky. <laughs> coffee first. We're going to start our journey here in Nevada with driving an hour north to a small town called Gerlach. I think that's how you pronounce the town, Gerlach. Here we go, folks. Let's head out north. Just gonna follow Joy. And on our way to get there, there's a small town called Empire. So if you've seen the movie Nomadland, you'll recognize the name because this is one of the famous landmarks from the movie. And apparently right behind me is Fern's house from the Nomadland. This poor neighbor is probably so used to having a lot of vans uh, pilgrimage over to check out the place. In the movie, Fern came out from this house and then start walking towards the back. Gonna see what's behind it look like. But that's a back view, which is really pretty. Bye bye, Fern's house. And next, we're gonna check in with the Burning Man people at Gerlach, Nevada. I keep saying Gerlach, Nevada. I mean, we are already in Nevada, so we're checking in with the Burning Man people in Gerlach. Hey, yeah. Hello. How are you? Good morning. You are the seed team for oh. Fly Ranch? Yes. Yeah. So we just checked in with the Burning Man people. <laughs> so we got the permit to enter the fly ranch. So let's fly. Let's fly. <laughs> Checking in is definitely much easier than I thought it would be. Even though there's a lot of regulations that they require you to sign, to read, to declare. It's definitely they have a strict access management to go to the fly ranch. But here we go. That's a flyer where Burning Man happens every year. It's so cool to be able to see it. We are officially in Fly Ranch. It's supposed to be quite muddy in the middle, so definitely don't want to be stuck in any muds or sand. At least that's a goal. Hello, I'm with her. Yeah, thank, you. <laughs> All right, thank you. We are here. It's a lot of vents I recognize. It's nice to be in the familiar places and faces. <laughs> We're gonna get dirty anyway, so call it uh, Awesome. People are recognized. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, nice. Hi. Max. I'm Halif. Halif, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Close me guys up. Yeah. In a ride to the job site with Bella and Dave. <laughs> Good girls. <laughs> my first day working on the project and i think today's plan is just to plant a few trees and try to burn it up shouldn't be that difficult but it's definitely a labor intense experience so we can start digging holes yeah. where the trees are well so if you uh, feel compelled to dig a hole and plant a tree okay you want to do that Hard dirt. Hard dirt. Yeah. It's a water girl. Couple hours in, already got some injuries. It's definitely not an easy job. It's definitely a labor intensive job for everybody, but that's for a common good. Nice hole, Joy. Yes. <laughs> Don't think I can do that for hours, but. Yeah. Dave the water boy. Spritzing? Yes, <laughs> I'm gonna grow! <laughs> up a little heavier because ideally this root ball is here. We need more dirt underneath. This is definitely one of the biggest trees here to plant. Santa Rosa Plum. You're gonna have a nice cozy home here in about two hours. <laughs> it is actually the biggest, isn't it? Get water, get planting soil, get obviously the tree, and a hole to plant it in. Um, if you want to maybe bring some buckets of water down, that could be helpful. In order to plant, 
definitely need water to get some more water for our trees. Make sure it's all cozy and ready. And then add the water, a little compost. Ford, you want to pull it up? Yeah. Then it might start to break up, but let's. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice sweet ball, a really poly. And then sort of massage the, around the ball. <laughs> Make it plump and happy. It's just gonna go as much. My first time planting a tree. So proud. I'm a proud dad. <laughs> Working on the bricks. Let's do this. Hey, where do you want these? So all of the landscape walls created on this project is made of locally made bricks, of which raw materials collected from the site. So we use all the dirt, all the sand and water from Fly Ranch. We have to lay them all out here so that it is dried before installation. It's quite heavy too. I think we need two more. Um, um, brick. Uh, okay. I just roughly counted we have 16 volunteers and workers working on this project today and planting tree. It's interesting. Oh, drinks. What do you got? Ooh. It's getting hotter and hotter towards one o'clock here. So a quick drink and we're gonna end our project at 1.30 for the day. Right now it's one o'clock and at the end of the day, we gather here in this little shack to have lunch. And then that's the end of a typical day here at Seed Project. And we're gonna start tomorrow again at 5 a.m. Yeah, calcium, I think. Gypsum. Gypsum. It's definitely getting very windy out here. We're setting up our Starlink for the camp. Hopefully it'll work this time. <laughs> Luckily, we travel with Kift. Therefore, we still have the Starlink. And this is crucial because there is no connection here without this particular unit. So we can stay connected. Okay, that's Kana. And that's Amara. <laughs> so cute. Dog. Stay. Oh my god. Hey! Oh, good girl. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. <laughs> so the Burning Man once held here inside the fly ranch, but it's only one year. Ever since that particular Burning Man, the organization always has a thought to purchase this whole land and finally they did it. It's definitely a very windy day today and it's supposed to be windy today and tomorrow will be interesting for sure. <laughs> During our stay here, the Burning Man organization wants us to have an authentic Burning Man experience. Therefore, they built a few structures for us to enjoy. I'm currently inside one of the sage structures. And the cool thing about this particular one is that you can actually chill around here during the day, just escaping from the heat, as well as charging your electronics. Another super cool thing about the charging station is that just right outside the door, the canopy actually made of a solar panel. So throughout the day, it's just charging like crazy and everybody be able to charge the electronics here. You know, there's a lot of genius and creative people here. And they have art pieces of previous Burning Man experience. So part of the deal working on this project is that meals are provided. It's right behind me is the kitchen where meals are prepared and served. So all we have to worry about is just building our project. All right, everybody, make sure you wash your hands before you do anything with food. Sausage and chicken jambalaya, and then a vegan Beyond Burger veggie heavy sort of Cajun chili with uh, with rice and a bunch wow. of salad. That sounds delicious. It does sound delicious. Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's warm. Oh, yeah, we just cooked it. <laughs> Let some folks 
do a couple of talks up here and do some updates about what they're up to. This is our um, 56th camp out. Okay, somebody deserves a treat. Do you want a treat? Are you sure? Okay. Now let me open it first. Let me open it first. While kind of enjoying her precious treats, I'm gonna show you my injuries. So this is day one working on the project. Look at that. I started getting blisters and I got that little mark there. And of course, also this. Yeah, no jokes. Absolutely no joke. Uh, good morning guys, it's 4.30 in the morning, I think we're gonna get ready because we're gonna be at the job site at the 5 o'clock. Fun, early morning. Alright, off we go to the job site. Come on Kana, good girl. job site around 5 15 it's definitely still pretty cold <laughs> oh, yeah. right, time to work so the goal today at least my task is to continue building the wall and that's gonna be fulfilling because it looks so pretty already. So today's agenda is to keep planting. I think we have 30 out of 50 plants that planted yesterday. So we're gonna finish them all today as well as keep building the wall and irrigation line. It's definitely a community effort. Occasionally we have visitors from other projects and we have one this morning. Where are you guys from? Spain. Spain, okay. It's always so interesting to learn other projects, what they're up to and how they build it. Hi. Got Naomi. <laughs> Planting. I'm planting thyme. Oh, thyme. Yeah, all the herbs. Yes. <laughs> What's better than getting your hands in the dirt, you know? Looking good. Thank you. Never Is enough time. Walls looking good. We definitely make a progress on the wall. It starts to retain the form, what we like it to be, and the curve is sexy. Super excited. All the trees here are hand selected from a specialty nursery in Oakland. Henry handpicked all the unusual quote unquote fruit trees. So we have pomegranate, figs, apricots santa rosa plums so there's a lot of really cool trees that hopefully will survive in the desert so that's why we designed the irrigation line but there are also a lot of herbs other native plants that will thrive here fingers crossed or at least that's a goal it's not just blackberry yes the seed project site is roughly about a hundred feet across and it has like a spiral that mimics the, I guess somebody actually pointed out, native snails that you can find here at Fly Ranch. Mara, good girl. Kana, she's a good girl too. Kana's ready for breakfast. I think we did a lot of progress this morning, but comes around 10 o'clock, we are heading back to the camp because we are ready for breakfast. The most important meal of the day, they said. Oh yeah, carefully so. mm -hmm. slide the bread down. Joy's working. Hi. Thankfully today is an overcast day, so it's not too hot. But of course, if you're making bricks, you do want a sun. However, we are done with the wall. Looks pretty. This project is definitely a team effort. It's coming together, guys. Some, even a couple of days of working, it's just a big transformation. You think like these things we can put inside the little wooden shack in the corner? The wind's definitely picking up and supposed to get worse, so we're evacuating anything that could move during the windstorm. One o'clock, now it's time for lunch. <laughs> What's the menu for lunch today? Oh, good question. <laughs> Still working on it? Yeah. 
working on it. Let's say it's in developing. Oh. Guess the sandwiches for lunch. These are founding members of Burning Man. Here is Crimson and Will, the founders. Crimson and I were camped right here for the Burning Man event. What we discovered is that we need to be good stewards. And this is where we camp out. This is basically surrounded by a lot of gift members because of Colin. Of course, this is a very remote location, so there are lots and lots of sand. This whole site is pretty much covered with fine white sand. So we try not to disturb it as much as we can, but it's gonna be a different story if it's a windy day and a windstorm can happen at any time. But it's 7.30 now, so we're about to have a pizza dinner, I think. That's what they said. And all the meals are provided here at the camp. So far, the meals here are quite sophisticated. And tonight we have pizza, and I didn't realize they even have the oven for it. So naturally, everybody's so excited. And the cool thing about all of these meals is that all the drinks also provided. So there are two coolers, one with regular cold beverages, and the other one, alcoholic. It's been seven or eight days now that we've been out here for the Laggy Camp Out. Really excited to have you all here. I invite them to come up and share for two or three minutes about what they've been up to today. I'm Matthias, I'm from The Loop, and here is Per from The Loop and Ulle from The Loop. Yeah. I'm Matt, and this is Agata from, we are from Poland. Uh, we are from the Source Project. We're going up, up. As you know, now it's, it's dry, like this thing bit. <laughs> I have a, just a couple of words really quick uh, before we talk about Ripple. Architecture and um, sustainability is a project about community. We've been out there digging. The initial test was a keyhole. The second test we're calling the sunken food forest. It's a permaculture project. It's a little bit smaller than this, uh, this shade structure. Really excited about what's to come with this. <laughs> Find a rock out here, anyway. Oh, that's me. That's my. Good morning. <laughs> Still way too early, but it is absolutely a gorgeous morning. The sun rays kind of glowing behind the clouds, which is kind of cool. Last full working day, and we just moved so slowly this morning. Waking up to such a beautiful landscape, and we're just savoring our coffee. It's so bittersweet. That's gonna be over, I guess. Cheers. Back to work. So it kind of sprinkled last night, rained a little bit, so it is absolutely helpful for our project. It's gift from above, according to a lot of people. Maybe close your eyes if that's comfortable for you right now. Feel the earth below your feet. Exhale, release. That feeling like no one will ever understand what just happened here. Waking up in the sky, I'm like, this, what a gift. It feels like it was a gift for us for all the hard work. <laughs> this is a pretty magical place with magical people, um, and we're doing a magical thing. So I'm happy to be spending time with y'all doing this thing. This is definitely a very special place, and this is a special project, just special people, and I'm so grateful that I'm part of it. Special moment for me and for, I assume, seems like everybody. A pleasure and a privilege to be here with all of you. Be the, the pack of horses, like moving towards the camera. <laughs> all right, three, yeah. two, one. <laughs> this morning's task is probably one of my most interesting task ever because we are dealing with poop. <laughs> so we are transferring a lot of manure from the barn into the project site. Yay, poop. Watch me come over the Fun job. Yep, yeah, you have these alleys. 
All right, dealing with the manure and uh, gravel now, just to make a uh, nice crisp edges for the pathways, which is really cool. We're gonna do a manure run. That's exactly what it is. Poop job. That's the gravel. For the wheelbarrow. They do need to be talked to, I guess. Yes, my sweet babies. Good girls and Good boys. Job. Give you some extra TLC here. Oh. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> It is such a weird day so far. Mm. The sun is kind of in and out and it's just overcast everywhere, clouds. But our project is coming together at nine o'clock. We have an open house for every single project. So we're gonna visit all the projects that's happening here. And we have our first visitors arriving at our site. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Good. Really helped run the design challenge and gave us a model for how we might take like, uh, but it's still in that open source model of, of community stewardship of the land. What we designed is a, um, a sort of a dimpling of the landscape, earthworks construction, earth built buildings. So this is it. We have a presentation of our site now and everybody's here and we have to present it. Try to sell them the idea. Plants that for producing food where they had to survive the extreme heat of the summer, they had to survive the extreme cold of the winter and they had to be drought tolerant. And of course, what is a visit to Fly Ranch without visiting a lot of these artworks throughout the land? And this is the Babi Yaga house. So there's a lot of legend and folklore associated with this house. But it looks like so bizarre. It looks like something from a Tim Burton's movie. It's pretty amazing. Or start to read your runes and determine whether or not you were a kindred spirit. In which case, she might take you for a jaunt through her forest, bring you back, and send you on your way. It feels like a witch house. <laughs> it is literally a witch house. Yeah, this is so cool. So cool, right? It's so crazy how it doesn't look stable, but they have hundreds of people on it. No kidding! <laughs> we are at the it's witch nice. house. It's so fairy tale -y. <laughs> Wow, this is definitely something else. Don't fall, Dave. Don't dare eat in here, That's so cool. <laughs> Someone's nest. <laughs> we are doing the laggy projects tour. And we are responsible for the source project. Uh, this is the loop. We're all in the loop, I think. We have always been in the loop and we will be in the loop forever. Yeah, actually, you are standing where most of the toilets will be. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to design a service station. And, and, uh, and you know, they were in a lot of ways um, the first show up this year and, and come out in full force and start making something happen. So the site is oriented north to south and right here to the east is the entrance. We chose this spot because there's a really nice sliver of uh, hayborn sandy loam soils that just hugs the southern reservoir here. Right here where we're standing is the center stake of Ripple and surrounding this geodesic dome will be waves of native gardens. Back to the campsite. You gotta be no more than five miles an hour speed limit because they don't want dust at all. Without much saying, working on the project is completely dirty. Yeah, we definitely need to clean up our van. Let's clean up the van a little bit, make it a little bit cleaner. It's like a windstorm out there. It is an extremely windy right now. It's a uh, gust about 30 to 50 miles an hour, I think. You should potentially prepare yourself for an exciting weather event. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man.
As if the landscape at Fly Ranch is not amazing enough, we are offered the best treats ever we can receive here. We are invited to check out the Fly Ranch Hot Springs and the famous Geyser. Makes sense they would have cameras on this. A bunch of tumbleweeds, but we are getting in. I think they're probably motion detectors. Very alien. So we're gonna check out the hot springs and the geyser. Don't do cannonballs. Don't scoop up the mud and put it all over your body. Um, what am I forgetting? Everybody who's been here before. Don't do anything but after 10,000. Look at that. It's so cool. <laughs> So this is the fly geyser and this was accidentally found. So back in the days, somebody dig a hole here, tried to find a fresh water and hit into hot water reserve underneath the ground. And as a result, they start water coming up and over time, it kind of drops off sediment and now becomes the fly geyser. Hey Joy. Yeah, did you enjoy the geyser? <laughs> it is cold. Gonna go through. Ah. It's a very windy day, but it's time to go. Okay, shoot. Okay, but it's time to go back to the camp. Connecting with the earth, putting our hands in the dirt, and taking care of each other. All these things, it's been really beautiful. And we did a lot and it feels so satisfying to see the project uh, as the day we leave it. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you do, please give us a like. To follow along our journey, hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, and yes, about that. Of course, this is a Burning Man event and they build us an effigy to burn in the middle of the playa. What an experience. <laughs> Burning Man kind of sneezing like crazy. You okay, Kana? It can be pretty steamy. Sorry. Water just get into the lens.